journey into the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with the sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works? Get you unto your burdens. And Pharaoh said, Behold the people of the land, now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 to 5. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the land house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. One Timothy chapter two verse five For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus Hebrews chapter ten verses nine to twenty two Then said he Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are satisfied, sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. And every priest standeth daily ministering, and offering oftentimes the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But this man, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God, from henceforth expecting till his enemies be made his footstool. For by one offering he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. For after that he, he had said before, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts, and in their minds will I write them. And their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiest by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which you have consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. St. John chapter 2 verse 5 his mother saith unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 46 to 50. While he yet talked to the people, behold, 
his mother and his brethren stood without, desiring to speak with him. Then one said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, Who is my mother, and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward the disciples, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the, the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. St. John chapter 14, verses 12 and 13. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. O Heavenly Father, be glorified in your Son this day, in this hell-infested place of Knock. O Father God, Ireland was once a country that knew the cleansing of the blood of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, because you had a messenger in Ireland, Patrick, who followed thee, O God, who followed the gospel, who followed the way unto thee through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, that he, Patrick, knew a holy, a righteous, and a pure God, and knew the only mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. But, O oh, Father God, there is a usurper who has come and has blinded the people of Ireland to the true, pure way unto yourself through your Son, that through a church, a demonic church, Lord, the church of Satan himself on earth. He has robbed thee, Lord, through the centuries of millions upon millions of souls who instead of coming the God way through the blood of Jesus Christ have gone on the road of darkness, the road which has taken souls, billions of millions of souls, O oh God, to hell itself. And dear Lord, in this hell-infested place of idolatry and superstition and the worshipping of Mary and the worshipping Lord of statues, not the living God, but gods of stone, God's Lord, which are not gods, God's Lord, which are filled with the demons of hell itself. O oh God, O oh Father God, this place so infested are it with the doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church, 
which over the centuries has been the doctrine of man, the doctrine, Lord, which has brought in the false teaching of purgatory, of transubstantiation, and placing man as the mediator with yourself. Lord, others, ways of mediation according to the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church, the false teaching, Lord, of Satan himself, now, Lord, what are you going to do? Surely, Lord, you have said to Pharaoh, let my people go. There is another Pharaoh, Lord, in the Roman Catholic Church. And I cry unto you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the only mediator between God and man, that it was his blood and his blood alone, not the blood of Mary or the blood of saints, which reconciled mankind to a holy God. Lord, give the people a chance. Break the power of Satan. Through the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Sovereign Lord Jesus Christ, break the power now of this demonic power in the Roman Catholic Church and cause it, Lord, I saw Satan fall from heaven. Lord, cause him now to fall in the Roman Catholic Church and set the people free, O oh God, that Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone will be seen as the only mediator between God and man. For he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Lord, open the hearts and open the minds of those held in bondage through this demonic Roman Catholic system, this system of man, and that the Holy Spirit will descend, dear Lord, and bring the light of God into those who have been held and have still been held in this system, that they will see the glorious light of God in the face of Christ Jesus alone, that they will know to what it is that Christ died for them, that they shall be blood washed, and they shall be filled with the Holy Spirit of God, like as on the day of Pentecost, that dear Lord, souls here in Ireland and throughout the, the world, under the system of Roman Catholicism, shall know once again what it is to be blood brought, blood washed through the blood of Jesus Christ, and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, O God. Worship you, O God. For Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone has the preeminence once more in Ireland and in this church, dear Lord. It is the church of Jesus Christ. Once more, the pure church, release once more to you, O God, because Jesus said, 
I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell have prevailed for long, but they no longer prevail, because, dear Lord, your word says, they shall not prevail. And on the basis of your word, O God, which says, only believe that which has been brought before you, O Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is done to your glory, O God. To you be all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Amen. All right.